it's rare in this day and age, I think, to, to actually get to build a library from scratch. I mean, I certainly never thought it was something I would undertake. Um, my name is Teresa Litka. I am 48 years old. Uh, uh, my current job is Dean of the Library at UTC. I literally asked them the first day. I was like, why the heck did you hire me anyway? I was just like, you know, I'm pretty young. I've never done this before. Um, and it was, I guess at the time, it was, it was me and the other two candidates they interviewed were honestly like these two old men. Um, who were clearly going to kind of come and they were just going to do one thing one way. And I think, you know, UTC took the chance to say, well, she's young and energetic. She might totally fail, but um, we know what we're going to get with those two, which is pretty much more of the same. So so it was really UTC that was 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 sort of took a chance on me and let me be the director of Al, because I think a lot of students who come from a high school don't even have libraries. And suddenly they're confronted with this beast and it's just like, what do you do here? So, I mean, again, we... As, as just being a space, we want to be that space for students. We want this to be the space where students are going to study, where they're doing their group work. It's time to read a book. Um, but in terms of services, it was just like, you know, the checkout desk, I don't think half the people know. It's like, they can borrow Chromebooks, they can borrow laptops, cords, HDMI cables, Apple chargers, games, calculators, um, a whole host of other, you know, mice in terms of you need a mouse. Um, so again, we circulate a ton of technology along with kind of reserves from behind that desk that I don't think folks know about. Second floor of the commons in terms of that's where we really do our research help. So we do um, walk-up help, um, we do chat help, we do phone help, we do email help. Again, any format a student wants to come at us in, we're going to answer them and respond in the, in the kind of format zone they're comfortable. Um, they also do research appointments where if you're doing sort of in-depth project and it's you're just not sure where to go, we match people up with the librarian we've got who's sort of best in that area and they'll take 30 minutes with you and literally just sort of walk you through the different databases. Um, the writing center is upstairs. They do a great job and you know, they'll help you with your resume. They'll help you with a short story. They'll help you with a text-based paper. Um, it doesn't matter that can, you know, the appointments again, they're starting to just do appointments online now, which is pretty exciting. Um, you can always make appointments online, but now they're actually doing the consults online, which is kind of cool. You know, the studio has been a crazy success and, and we're a little worried that that hasn't even like begun to be discovered by 50% of the students yet. Um, and it's already too small. Uh, the sound room in the studio is the most popular thing in the studio at this point, besides all the equipment which everybody wants their hands on. It was really surprising. I thought the green screen would be more popular. Um, so I think the studio is a really interesting space. Um, the 3D printing, the 3D scanning, you know, their partnership with the Writing Center to really help students sort of connect between, it doesn't matter whether you're working on text or whether you're working on film, but how do you, how do you communicate that effectively? And I think that's what those two in partnership do really well. Um, Special Collections is really cool. It's where the old stuff is. Um, so again, our probably oldest work is 17th century manuscript. Um, but we've got some really nice collections that, that kind of tell the history of Chattanooga. You know, the reading room has been an unequivocal success up on the fourth floor of the Roth Reading Room. Um, and that really makes me happy for a lot of reasons. Uh, the architect who designed this building passed away. He was 54 and was diagnosed with cancer and was gone in like six months. Um, so he worked on this project for like six and a half years and didn't get to see it finished. And we approached the campus and they let us name the reading room after him. His name was Andy Roth. Um, so we tried to create as much diversity and environment as we could and it's fun to sort of see kind of students move through the building and discover the different aspects of the library that they can use and services that they never knew existed. And we're always looking for new things next semester. You know, I put in as part of my budget proposal, we want to experiment with something called an affordable course initiative where we begin to work with faculty and instead of faculty assigning, I don't know, like $300 textbooks, we work with them to say, hey, you know, I've already subscribed so like, over a million dollars in resources. Let us help you find the right article so that students aren't forced to buy $300 textbooks. Um, you know, it's really fun. We're working with the art department for um, one of their classes, their senior design class is gonna work with us next, this coming spring, to talk about wayfinding and placemaking in the library. And what, how do we connect with students more? Um, you know, how do they really get informed about our services and, and actually taking like an entire semester to do that. So we're all very excited about it. It's going to be really interesting and fun. So, you know, we're going to expand hours this spring. So we did a big survey of the students um, and it was great. We got like 1600 responses saying, you know, if we could add five hours to the schedule, where would you want to see them? Um, so we're going to try and do that again and kind of see if people take advantage of it. Was just, Come to the library. It's a great place. We're friendly. Um, we'll help you do whatever you need to do. Um, and try and have a fun time. So that would be the best. Like we really wanted this to be like a student's third space. 
count you up. What is your interview? <laughs> Absolutely. Have you been to Have you done a lot of interviews? No, dear God, no. But I obviously have no trouble like rambling. Yeah. I have to get through people that work here. They're a lot of fun and they're really cute. They care. It's funny. I really want to help people.